I am fury. I am fire. I am phoenix. No, that's not right. I'm the ruckus. What's good out there, y'all? How you doing out there? It's the ruckus. Humming, coming at you, back at you again with another action figure review. And uh, we are going to be checking out a two-pack of sorts. And I say of sorts because uh, courtesy of uh, Marvel Legends, sorry about that, I actually bumped into my own camera. Courtesy of Marvel Legends, we have our first named two-pack, uh, official two-pack with not a, a, a human and uh, an animal, but with uh, an entity or uh, energy or however you want to think about it. We have here Jean Grey, a.k.a. the Phoenix, and the Phoenix Force. They are sharing the billing for this particular two-pack. And uh, I'm not mad because, uh, for one, that Phoenix Force looks great just seeing it in packaging. Um we will check it out, of course, uh, as we move along here. So, uh, yeah, may as well get into it. You see the pageants looking very, very nice. We've got uh, Jean Grey, a.k.a. Phoenix. This isn't the first time we've uh, gotten a version of Jean Grey as Phoenix. We've gotten them before, and uh, we will be comparing those. The uh, accessories look cool. So you got a different, uh, an additional set of hands, fists, if you will. Another head sculpt. It's looking like uh, it's got the uh, pupilless eyes going on, and uh, she has her own energy effect that I can see. Looking at the top, we've got that uh, Phoenix insignia. We've got artwork, and on the back, we've got a sketch of Phoenix with that other head sculpt, by the way, and the Phoenix Force. And uh, we've got a readout. A cosmic power known as the Phoenix Force fuses with X-Men mutant Jean Grey, becoming a nearly unstoppable force capable of peace or destruction. And no lies told there. Back to the front. Take a look at our girl in packaging because you know what's next. From cardboard to clamshell, you see what we got going on here? There's actually more than one clamshell going on as we've got a mini clamshell uh, containing one of the uh, base aspects of the Phoenix Force but you see on our left we've got uh, the Phoenix Force and the uh, the main base behind it her whatever you want to call Phoenix Phoenix Force and then of course you've got Jean herself on our right clamshell to fully exposed only with the twist this go round instead of the figure herself we're going to uh, sport the effect or the entity however you want to uh, look at it the phoenix force there you go because i figured uh it would um work out better if we assemble because there is some very little assembly required uh and get the phoenix force stand ready you know, for when uh, after we're done with Jean herself. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the Phoenix Force. And uh, you see that it's, of course, all of the pieces, uh, with the exception of the actual base that will be hidden, molded in uh, red and uh, orange, uh, you know, translucent to give it that fiery effect, which is translating quite well. If I say so myself, it looks very, very nice. And there are details. You have to get up on it to see them because of the translucency. Uh, and one of the details I want to point out, and I hope it translates well on camera, but uh, Phoenix has uh, claws, has feet down here. And uh, they're talented. They're actually, they've got the scoots that a bird would have. So that's some real serious attention to detail uh you've got those uh supposed to be fire uh coming off of the wings that you see right there and there and at the the bottom of the plumage of the tail the same thing pretty nice and uh what's also cool is this head which we've got some nice uh paint work going on for the eyes they're painted red and that's cool. That's very nice. But also, 
the head is articulated. Well, you know, it'll it'll rotate. You can't like tilt it up and down, but you can rotate so that when you have her on display with uh, Jean in front of her, you want to show the head, you can just uh, point it either left or right. So I think that that's pretty nice. Back is cool. We've got the detail of the feathers. Very, very nice. This is a nice piece. I, I like the fact that they actually did it. It's amazing because this effect gets top billing alongside Jean making this an official two-pack. Set this aside so we can uh, look at the uh, the flame effects. They look good too. Of course, they're also in that uh, orange and red translucent uh, plastic. Pretty nice. And then the base, of course, is just the uh, orange. It's going to be hidden. And... Uh, how we put it together you have to get this flame I believe has to go inside that way that way you can get them both on the bottom make sure that I'm lined up properly like that yeah there we go so you can see how it looks like on the bottom there then I you take the uh, the base line that up too and it snaps into place you heard the click and voila, you've got the base looking very, very nice in all its glory. Then we have, let's see what we do with the Phoenix Force herself, itself, themselves, whatever. How that goes, I think you're supposed to get this in here some kind of way. Is that right? Well, does that, oh. There, yeah, that kind of works. She looks kind of tilted, though. I think I have to get her moved in some like, yep, yeah, that's not that's not it. And I don't think it goes in that way because you miss out on a lot of the, the flame. So I'm sure, yeah, it's got to go in. I'll get it in partially just so she'll be standing and then I'll I'll correct. I'll course correct uh, off screen. So, yeah, that's uh, that looks pretty good right there. I'm still thinking it's not uh, on properly because I'm sure if I just hit it, it's going to uh, shake off. But we'll see. Now it's time for the lady herself. We're talking about Jean Grey, a.k.a. Phoenix. And uh, it's a very, very nice figure. I'm saying that off the bat. Why? Because she is on Hasbro's Marvel Legends very best female buck. This is on the uh, Black Widow buck. She's got crazy articulation and considering her power set and uh, what she does, uh, I'm not going to front. It wasn't really necessary, uh, but having said that, I'm not mad because uh, my estimation, all of them should have all of this articulation you know, that stems from the uh, Black Widow buck. And uh, just to get that out the way, let's do the uh, the articulation. You, the hair, because it's sweeping, and we'll get to the aesthetics momentarily. I was talking about articulation, so I figured I'd just see it through. The head is on uh, a, a, a dumbbell, and uh, the hair, of course, is going to prevent it from going back. You can look down that far. And uh, you get some pivot there. Of course, you can rotate. You can T-pose her a little bit better than a T. And then, of course, the part that I love, especially because it's a female buck. She's got butterfly joints. She can uh, rear back that far. That's just crazy. I love it. And uh, the clasping. Look at that. That's nice. You can't clap, but that's that's cool. That's cool, especially if you're trying to get her in a, pro a projecting energy pose. That's awesome right there. Bicep swivel. Of course, you know she's pinless all over. We're talking elbows right now. She's got the uh, swiveling wrists, and uh, all four of her hands, including the fists, have the horizontal hinge. She's got the uh, the, ad, I mean, the diaphragm, I should say. Of course, Hasbro still, their biggest weakness, I think, to date is they haven't figured out 
how to go forward with the diaphragm. Uh, and that's both on male and female, especially the females, though, for obvious reasons. It's more difficult with them. She can go back with her diaphragm and you're going to get your side to side and your rotation all on on that diaphragm and then she has the inverted ab crunch so you have to combine that with what little forward motion you get from that diaphragm to get her to go over that much and then of course you could do the same thing with the back but because the back gets more you, you broke back style right there and uh that's what you get. Like I said, you're going to get your, your torso rotation at that diaphragm. So you can do the splits that far, kick 90, back just a little bit. She's got the thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees on and cracking right there. She can point her toe, ballerina style, go up very nicely. She, of course, has ankle pivot. The holes are at the bottom of the feet. You know what time it is. Jean Grey is looking very, very nice. Uh, defin definite improvement over the uh, previous uh, iteration of uh, Phoenix because it was, of course, A, on the old style female body, and then B, the, uh, the, the facial sculpts weren't really all that. I'm not even going to break her out because anybody that knows anything, you up on it. Speaking of the uh, head sculpt, we do have this one right here, and this one looks every bit as beautiful as uh, the one that comes attached to Jean's neck. <laughs> Anyhow, and we haven't gone over the aesthetics yet, but we will now that we're showing this particular head sculpt. Pupilous eyes, the hair just, you know, flailing like uh, she's, uh, you know, bristling with power, the lips, ruby red, it's very nice, very nice indeed. As far as what we got going on with the figure itself, once again, like I said, very nice uh, facial print there. The digital printing still on point. Hasbro's come a long way, like I said, compared to the uh, last iteration, Night and Day. And the last iteration wasn't bad at all. Not like uh, the first time around where we got uh, Jean Grey you know, in her yellow and blue costume. And then it was improved when we got the... Uh, the uh, Love Triangle version, uh, and of course improved even more so when we got the X-Men 97 version, or uh, I said X-Men 97, I think I meant the uh, the VHS version, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, and um, this shows you how far they've come, and uh, very nice in terms of the rest, the nice uh, metallic gold, I love that. The metallic gold for the Phoenix uh, symbol emblem on her chest. Very, very nice. Mine is clean too as I get to look at it closer up than you guys. Of course, the body's molded in uh, green. Then you've got uh, paint for um, from the, uh, the biceps and the triceps down to the uh, elbows. And uh, then you get... Uh, there is a difference in color because the elbows and the forearms and hands are molded in that gold. The uh, the sash molded in gold too doesn't look bad at all. And then of course with the legs, the legs are painted. I mean, are molded green, and then they're painted up here the gold. And you can see differences in the knee caps. They are slightly uh, different shaded. And then you've got the bottom which of course is different shaded than the kneecaps. Of course, it's going to be like that. And then you got the feet. And uh, of course, nothing's really going on there in the rear. So uh, that is our, uh, that's how our Jean Grey, AKA Phoenix looks like. And I'll just bring in the Phoenix Force again, set her back there and uh, zoom out a bit. And uh, yeah, and now you know what's next. We're going to uh, get uh, Gene on the base. And uh, by the way, uh, in between takes, like I said, I figure out how to uh, get uh, Phoenix the Force on her base. And uh, what you have to do is work her through the uh, flame tendrils there in the back and a couple of the 
uh, flame tendrils are uh, uh, very uh, subtly shaped as holders for her. You can probably see them on her either side of her of her body, and uh, yeah, that worked out pretty nice. Now, as far as Jean is concerned, I think the best thing to do is to get her arms prepared because uh, it's probably going to be it's probably going to take some doing to get her working. I'm doing this off the cuff. I believe I have to point a toe down to get it in there. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I don't know if I have to do the other toe or what. But uh, yeah, the one, one foot definitely fits all the way in. You're going to have to really work with it to get it to look nice. And uh, I'll, I'll get it to look nicer you know, when I'm not uh, under the pressure of trying to do this quick enough for you guys to see and appreciate it. So that's, uh, she's on there now. There's a, uh, a porthole for her left foot to go in. And uh, there you have it. That's what she looks like uh, in all her glory, all their glory. And getting her closer up, remember what I said about the phoenix's head. You could rock it this way, or if you want to be able to show the phoenix her full uh, features, just turn that head that way, and you've got, uh, that's what you got. That looks very, very nice. Take a picture. And because I already know you guys want to see this, we've got Dark Phoenix from the Toys R Us Dark Phoenix Cyclops two pack. Of course, she's on the uh, the older uh, the older body mold. Um, they did make some changes at that point. Uh, the legs they uh, corrected the legs, and uh, they were they're a little bit uh, meatier, curvier. So she doesn't look all skinny and emaciated like a previous female bucks. But uh, that's what. Um, that's what Dark Phoenix would look like with the Phoenix Force. And uh, I may as well, I'll advise you guys right now. I know what some of you will want to do. You're tempted to double dip and spend the 50 bucks or so and get another one just so you'll have a Phoenix Force for your Dark Phoenix. Patience is a virtue. You know good and well. Hasbro's going to release this set again only with Dark Phoenix. And she's going to be on the updated Black Widow buck. So just be patient. Now here's a quick peek at both Phoenix and Dark Phoenix side by side. Like I said, they uh, with Dark Phoenix, they did improve the lower half, meaning the legs by giving her the, uh, the more curvaceous uh, legs. And uh, you, you have to know, you have to realize that we're going to get this pack again only in the Dark Phoenix colors. So what are my thoughts on the Marvel Legends Jean Grey Phoenix Force, a.k.a. Phoenix 2-pack? And it is indeed a 2-pack, the first official 2-pack consisting of a human being and an entity slash energy force effect. Uh, I think it's great. The uh, update to Phoenix is spectacular. We've got her on the uh, super articulated buck, the uh, Black Widow bucks, as we uh, refer to it. And um, of course we get the great head sculpts. I mean, you get, you get the best of everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just loving it. The uh, Phoenix Force is a great stand. Um, one thing I did mention about the stand is you could actually use it sans the uh, Phoenix herself. Uh, and just the flame, so you can actually just have uh, Jean just with that. I could have done that with this uh, particular uh, shot, and yes, I'm finally speaking on it. Uh, I wasn't trying to be coy. I was working my way up to it. I could have, uh, I could have just used the stand, and uh, it would look a little bit more. Uh, it would look a little. Uh, more accurate to the source material, a.k.a. Uncanny X-Men 107, um, which is the first appearance of Jean Grey as the Phoenix. Uh, but I, uh, this is a uh, two-pack, so I felt, and I, re I use that word rarely, felt. 
I felt it was necessary to include the Phoenix Force in this end shot. Um, speaking of that, uh, I usually don't ask about, uh, the, the, uh, my end shots. I just go with them, but this time I'm going to ask, what do you guys think of this one? Uh, I, I try to, uh, engage in some creativity and, um, I used to always be down on myself about it, but I think, um, I'm getting better at it, but, um, that's just me. I'll let, uh, uh, my adoring public or not so adoring public be the judges. You guys tell me what you think about this particular uh, end shot. Um, yeah, down in the comments below. And um, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's one other thing I want to uh, revisit and summarize. As I stated before, be patient. If you're really loving that Phoenix effect and you want it for your dark Phoenix, you got to know Hasbro is notorious for double dipping. We're going to get it. We're going to get this set again only with the Dark Phoenix colors. So just be patient. You know, there's no there's no need unless you just have to have it to spend the, another 50 spot just to get the Phoenix effect. But I digress. You do what you want to do. I'm here to serve. So I'm just giving you the advice uh, that uh, I think is uh, required. Anyway, uh, what I require is for you guys to let me know what you think about uh, Jean Grey, the Phoenix Force, the Phoenix 2-pack, and um, anything else you want to talk about in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, of course, as always, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload another vehicle. Vehicle. You hear me? Video. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> I'm leaving that in because we keep it real on the Ruckus channel here. Anyway, um... That's a good note to end on so I don't uh, muddle up anything else. Thanks, guys, for rocking with me. On behalf of Phoenix, Jean Grey, the Phoenix Force, and myself, the Ruckus, we are out. Peace.